Hi everyone. Welcome to our five minute video tutorial about how to investigate phishing websites and networks using Multigo. In this video, you will learn the foundational methodology of investigating phishing campaigns and how to speed up the process. Let's get started. Phishing is a common method used by hackers and malicious actors to steal critical information or compromise a computer or network with malware or a virus. Generally, the goal of phishing attacks is to acquire one or more of the following items personal identity or financial information, login credentials to certain services or systems, confidential business intelligence or internal data, control over compromised computers or network systems. Once the hackers acquire the information, they can use the stolen data to perform identity or financial fraud, make malicious configurations to systems, spy on competing companies or organizations, shut down critical system operations, and more. A phishing attack typically starts with a phishing website built as a trap, a fake celebrity or business social media account, or a file attachment storing malware. The attackers will then distribute the website or malware via emails, social media posts, direct messages, online advertisements, and other online channels with an incentive, a hook, to bait the users to click. Once a target clicks on the URL or opens the attachment, two outcomes are possible. They will either be directed or redirected to the phishing website, or a drive-by download will start without the target even being aware. If a target is led to a phishing website, they are likely to be prompted to log in and share certain private information, like credit card credentials. After submitting the information, the targets may or may not be redirected to the legitimate website so that they remain unalerted, while the data collected is sent to the attackers. Drive-by download is a method used to plant malware or a virus in the target's computer without the computer detecting the download activity. The malware or virus will either start compromising the machine and infecting any connected network, or stay silent in the system until receiving instructions from the attackers. There are many different ways to investigate phishing campaigns and track down the threat actors behind them. It is common for a phishing attacker to run multiple campaigns at the same time, using different domains and online channels. Therefore, it is important to explore beyond the known target and identify associated infrastructure to evaluate the scale and extent of a phishing attack. Databases like WHOIS, VirusTotal, Recorded Future, and Attack MISP are handy tools to map out the phishing infrastructure and explore the associated threat network. Using Multigo, we can conduct the investigations quickly and visually. The free Multigo standard transforms hub item connects with numerous OSINT infrastructure data sources that are helpful in phishing investigations. Starting with a phishing domain, we first run the to DNS name transform to retrieve the DNS name of the domain, and then run the to IP address DNS transform to return the IP address. This lays down the groundwork for our investigation. On the IP address entity, we run the to website using IP Bing transform to find websites hosting on the same IP address. These websites are likely associated with the same threat actor behind the known phishing domain, even though different and unrelated websites can sometimes be hosted on the same server. On the associated website entities, we can run two transforms, mirror external links found and mirror email addresses found. These transforms will mirror the websites and scrape external links or email addresses found in the HTML source code. While the external links can lead us to other associated websites, the email addresses might help us pinpoint who the attackers are. That's not the only thing we can look into. We can also retrieve the phishing website entity from the phishing domain and use the to certificate transform from the SSL certificate transforms hub item to acquire the certificates issued to the website. Once we acquire the certificate, we can further query the valid dates, locations, and owners of the certificate. Using the Recorded Future and VirusTotal data integrations, we can also identify hashes linked to the domain and query the relevant reports and threat intelligence to expand the scope of our investigation. After all, while the digital space makes it easy for threat actors to anonymize themselves, their digital footprints are exactly the breadcrumbs that will lead us to uncovering their presence and agenda. We hope you find this video tutorial about phishing investigations using Multigo helpful. Visit our blog article to learn more about the phishing attacks and real-life use cases, or download our phishing methodology infographic. You can find the links in the video description below.
Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below, and share this video with your friends, colleagues, and teams. Happy investigating!